Welcome to another episode of Kurdistan This Week, where we bring you the latest in the Kurdistan region from NRT Studios in Somani. The Kurdistan region passed 1,000 officially recorded COVID-19 deaths on Friday afternoon. Although the death toll was relatively low during the spring, it accelerated over the summer once the lockdown procedures ended. On Tuesday, the region recorded a new single-day record with 677 new cases. Erbil is the hardest-hit governorate at the moment, with Tohuk and Sulmani continuing to record significant numbers of new cases each day. The government also renewed its push for residents to wear face masks, but adherence remains spotty. Residents and public sector workers demonstrated across the Kurdistan region on Saturday demanding that the Kurdistan regional government pay public servants in full and on time and ensure reliable public services. The, demonstrators, the demonstrations come as the government is struggling to deal with deteriorating economic conditions. Many young people are unemployed, including thousands of graduates of higher in education institutions. Coronavirus restrictions have hurt livelihoods of many business owners and employees in the private sector. The budget dispute with Baghdad rumbles on, and Erbil and Dahuk governorates planned protests were prevented from taking place by the security forces who arrested dozens of activists, many of whom remain in custody. NRT reporter Ahmad Zahoui continued to languish in detention in Dahuk governorate this week with no clarity as to the charges against him. Zahoui was arrested on August 20th in a pre-dawn raid, hours after being prevented from covering a protest at the Ibrahim Khalil border crossing. His whereabouts, are, his whereabouts are not known, and his family has been prevented from visiting him or contacting him directly. On Thursday, a representative of the Metro Center, a local press freedom watchdog, said that a senior member of the Asaish told them that Zahoui's health was at risk after he launched a hunger strike to protest his detention. Local and international press freedom monitors, including the Committee to Protect Journalists and Reporters Without Borders, have called for his immediate release. Additionally, dozens of activists in Erbil and Dahuk and Sulmani's Rania remain in custody, reportedly in difficult conditions. On Monday night, activist Farouk Omar was released from custody in Zaho and immediately rushed to a local hospital because of his deteriorating health. The KRG decided on Sunday to resume the process of promotion within the Peshmerga, which has been sub suspended for several years, starting with those officers who were eligible in 2017. The promotion system was suspended as a cost-saving measure during a previous period of austerity. Of officers who were eligible for promotion in 2018 and 2019 will be dealt with at a later date. KRG leaders also promised to continue the process of unifying and depoliticizing the Peshmerga. In the Kurdistan region, the armed forces are largely affiliated with either the Kurdistan Democratic Party or the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, a relic of the period when the parties were fighting against the Ba'ath regime before 1991 or each other in the civil war in the 1990s. Although long promised, Peshmerga reform has proved elusive despite aid from foreign partners. Finally, doctors from Sulmani working on rotation at a hospital in Cham Chamal have been on strike for two weeks, claiming that the government has not paid their allowances. The allowances help pay for transportation and other expenses incurred by state employees working off-site or in remote areas. They have also objected to the 21% cuts imposed on their pay by the government in July and August. The hospital is the only emergency room in the district, and non-physician healthcare staff have stepped in to fulfill some of the striking doctor's duties. It is the latest in a series of labor strikes in the health sector in the Kurdistan region since April. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Kurdistan This Week. If you'd like more information on these stories and others, check out our website, nrttv.com forward slash en, and be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter.